a rural settings where you aren't connected to a municipal water supply, oftentimes you'll have to receive your water from a well. There's three common types of wells, um, dug, bored, or drilled wells. Uh, the dug in and bored wells are often shallower. They take water from a, a either groundwater source or shallow aquifers that are typically less than 50 feet deep. Um, these types of wells are often bigger in diameter. They usually come with either a concrete formed casing, which is typically four feet in diameter, or in the really old wells, uh, typical to farmhouses in, in southern Ontario, they would be lined with stone. Um, the only problems that typically happen with these wells are that they, they do get groundwater contamination. Uh, small rodents, maybe bugs get in them, and do decrease the water quality. With a drilled well, they often go much deeper, anywhere from say 50 to 200 feet. They are usually more expensive to construct. Um, well drillers come in with, with big machines, use a steel, generally a six to seven inch casing, put that down so that no sort of groundwater can get into the well. They typically have the well casing stick up three to four feet above the surface with a sealed well cap on top. Um, these generally provide a safer source of drinking water but come with related problems that, that come from going deeper into the ground such as sulfur or salt. At the bottom of any well, you, what you'll typically have is a steel piping or more recently a plastic polyethylene piping that goes down. At the bottom of that you'll have a sort of a screened, uh, it's typically a foot valve, but something to keep the sediment and sand or stone out of your water supply. Uh, from there the water is pumped up through the piping into your house, generally coming in below grade about four feet to prevent freezing. It goes into the house into either a jet pump or in older situations you'll have a piston pump. Um, for deep water applications or deep well applications you'll have a submersible pump which is typically placed at the very bottom of the well and is able to pump a lot further distances up. So when buying a rural property there are several items that sh should be checked in regards to the well and the water system. You'll usually want, if possible, to get a well record. These are generally available for wells that were constructed sort of mid-70s. And in cases where the, you don't have a well record supplied by the homeowner or by the Ministry of the Environment, you'll often want to do a, a, what is called a water recovery rate test. You can have a certified well driller come in they set up a pump, can determine how many gallons per minute you're getting, and the recovery rate of the water coming into the bottom of your well. So when you're buying a house, you'll want to know the location of, well, of the well, the depth, the type, that there's a secure well cap, preferably three to four feet above the ground so that groundwater can't contaminate the water source. You want to check that the well casing has a slope away so that there's no ponding of groundwater around your source and check the pump and piping on this. You'll want to have the health unit test the water quality, checking for E. coli and coliform. Banks will typically want the 00, zero test. For a more thorough set of information on well systems and septic systems, please refer to the website from, provided by CMHC. I'll give you all this information.